I'm waiting for the moment where he really does some gangster shit. Like, he's a boss, and people respect him as a boss. People treat him as a boss. But come on, y'all. We have to admit, he has not made a good decision yet this season. Alright y'all, this is first thing in the morning, so if I got that biggie sound going on, I think my allergies are fucking with me, so just bear with me. Uh, so here we go, Snowfall Season 4, Episode 6. It's getting crazy, man. We got four episodes left, the season's about over with, this shit went by fast as hell, only because this shit is so crazy. Um, yeah, first thing I gotta say, Khadijah, Scully's baby mama. Now, all of us have been talking about how crazy Scully is. We talk about the Scully and Man Boy War. You know, Man Boy is such a great character. Scully crazy as shit. But listen, the true gangster in this shit right now is Khadijah. This bitch is savage, yo. Like, yo, rest in peace to um the Fatback, man. I, I felt bad for him this episode. I mean, I know, yeah, you know, you in that life, you in the drug game. So, you know, you get what you got coming to you and fuck all that, man. Fatback was a good dude, man. Stand up, brother. You know what I'm saying? He was willing to take the fall for Leon, even though he kind of didn't have a choice. But he was going to take the fall. He wasn't going to snitch. Even as he was getting tortured, didn't give his man up, man. You can't find nobody like that. So, um, yeah, torture. Yo, he was on some Wu-Tang torture shit. I'm talking about, yo, I'll fucking cut your eyelids off and feed you nothing but sleeping pills on that shit. Yo, I'll fucking cut your kneecaps off and throw you down a flight of stairs. <laughs> so, so Wu-Tang torture shit, man. Khadijah was stabbing this man up like I almost had to look away from the screen and I can take some brutal shit I can take some graphic stuff but it's just something about the sound it was making when she was stabbing him you could see it going in him and oh man fat back damn yeah she is savage yo yeah Scully it should be the least of people's worries right now because Scully on his religious tip you know thinking that God is punishing them for what they did. So, yeah, Scully done lost his fucking mind. Khadijah is the real gangster. But now, speaking of Man Boy, all right, well, you know, I shouldn't sleep on Man Boy. Okay, Khadijah is probably the most savage right now. But Man Boy, all right, at first I thought he was really sincere about um, his niece dying and finding his niece's killer. But for some reason in that scene, I was thinking, I said, you know what? Yeah, he probably does care a little bit, but his main thing is getting Franklin's plug. So he's playing along, playing nice. You know, him and Scully right now are cool. But I think that's just a small step in a bigger plan of, okay, when I do get the plug, you know, Scully's going to be down with the program. You know, he he's on his Marlowe shit right now. I, I know I keep comparing Snowfall to The Wire, but the parallels are just, it's, it's, you, you have to talk, it's, it's inevitable, all right? That they're on the same level of gangster right now. But yeah, Man Boy's on his Marlowe shit where as soon as he gets the plug, Franklin's a dead man, and hopefully we don't get a Prop Joe Marlo situation where it's like, all right, uh, yeah, ain't no need for that. Mm, well, I treated you like a son. Yeah, I wanted me to play the son. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man. So, man, boy, and plus he's just too cool about it. You know, Khadijah is like, there's a sense of urgency. Like, listen, I gotta find my daughter's killer. I have to find this motherfucker now. And man, boy, like, yo, we on it, man. Like, like he, he's just too calm about the shit. So. He's not, that's not his main priority right now. That's why she took it in her own hands. And I have to say this about your boy Franklin. Uh, Franklin Saint, we're, we're six episodes in. We got four episodes left. I, I believe there's ten in this season. Franklin needs to get his shit together. I, I'm, I'm still waiting for him to have his moment. I've defended this brother to many people who are saying that he's nowhere on the level of ghosts or like any other TV gangster. You know, he, like Franklin ain't shit. And I defend this man saying that, no, he he's a rookie, okay? Technically, even though we're in season four, I think there's like a, a year span between season one and four. So Franklin's still technically a rookie, man. But I'm waiting for the moment where he really does some gangster shit. Like, he's a boss, and people respect him as a boss. People treat him as a boss. But come on, y'all. We have to admit, he has not made a good decision yet this season. Come on, let, let's be real. Franklin Saint has not made a good decision Yet, like, with Fatback getting killed, that's, you know, when Leon went off, like, man, this is your fault, man. You said everything was going to be okay. And Frank was looking like, damn, yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> but, you know, I, I did kind of laugh, though, when um when Leon was flipping out and he got him in Franklin's face. And you see D-Ray Davis, he was like, yo, we handle this little nigga. Frank was like, nah, let him go, let him go, let him go. 
<laughs> like D-Ray, D-Ray is ready to get in his ass. Zay, I mean, everything he's did so far this season has not worked, man. And this is not the friendless saint that we know. And I'm kind of afraid because the, the chick that he's sleeping with, uh, the one that's working at the club, I know that she is not who she claims to be. I, I don't know if she's working with the CIA. I don't know what her deal is or if she's working with Man Boy to get his connect. I don't know, but she's definitely not who she seems to be. He needs to watch her. And um, and the Asian chick, she's trying to take down his his uh, pop's business, and I feel something's going to happen to her. But yeah, frankly, you get it together, man. You know, and now Teddy's on his ass. You know, Teddy, I felt bad for him this episode too because he lost his brother and his pops turned on him and shit. Yeah, Teddy's a fucking wreck right now. I really feel bad for him, but yeah, that was some G shit when you told Franklin, like, look here, man. Um, yeah, get it together because anybody's replaceable. Anybody. Like, I can find somebody else. Man boy, possibly. You know. There's a chance she could be working for Man Boy because if she's listening to this and she knows who this guy is, she can go back to him like, look, he's, you know, passing information. He's working with the CIA, you know what I'm saying, um, blase, blase. You know, this is this is the plug that that could possibly be. And now let's get to Jerome and Louie trying to expand, expansion. They go to Arkansas, Little Rock, them country-ass motherfuckers. <laughs> they try to pass the crack on to them. Yeah, you know that shit ain't, ain't gonna go right. <laughs> we, we all know how that shit turned out when it got to Arkansas. If, if you grew up in the 80s and the 90s, you know how Arkansas ended up becoming. And Jerome finds out for the first time that, uh, yeah, Frank was working with the with the feds, with the CIA. And um, so now I think this is where the betrayal is going to come in because Louis and them knew the whole time and Uncle Jerome was in the dark. You know what I mean? So he feels some type of way like, well, damn, we're supposed to be a team, a squad, a family. And y'all keep this shit from me? That's not going to sit well with him at all. So, uh, interested to see where, where that plays out. Look here. So much in this episode. And I just feel like Franklin just needs to get a fucking grip on this shit, man. Because it's it's slipping through his fingers. Everything. Like, everything is like, it's fucking up around him, man. He needs to get a grip on this shit. And we still haven't seen Melanie yet. You know, Mel, I, I feel is going to pop up somewhere and really fuck shit up. Because she still wants Franklin for what he did to her pops. And don't be surprised down the line that you see her and Nick's working together because Nick's is going to pop up somewhere too. There's just so much juiciness in this show. Like, th th this steak is so savory right now. I mean, it's just melting in my mouth like butter. Yeah, here I am comparing shows and movies to food again. Damn it, I like food. I'm a big nigga. I don't give a damn. So, y'all, another solid episode. Um, rest in peace to Fatback. Man, I hate he had to go out like that, man. Like, like Franklin said, he was a soldier, man. And then that was Leon's main man. So, Lee, he might... Lee might you know, turn himself in, because he's an emotional nigga, like, Franklin's more strategic and not, emo like, he don't let his emotions get the best of him, that's why I guess it confused Teddy the fact that, um, he wasn't willing to give Leon up, like, bro, like, we all lost people in this shit, like, sit, you know, set your personal feelings aside, this is business, but he's like, nah, Lee, nah, he family, <laughs> so, um, I think Lee's probably gonna fly off the cuff and turn himself in, or do some stupid shit, like, go after Scully himself and be like, look here, man, I did it, Handle me how you want to handle me. I think he's, he reaches his breaking point now because he's carrying the guilt of killing this little girl. And now he's going to carry the guilt of his man getting killed because he was going to take the fall for him. Yeah, Lee, Lee's going to be an emotional mess next episode, man. And um, look, I, I went longer than I was supposed to because there's just so much to talk about. But y'all, that's all I got. So what do you think about this episode? Where do you think this shit is going? Comment freely below. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Fuck it. That's it and that's all. That Don't you come in the frame with that told you chill when i'm in production and that's it and that's all <laughs> so uh yeah like and subscribe notification bell in the corner thank you all for watching this is rashad g signing out see you in the next video